Hi everyone and welcome to today's Faith Moment. So I'm looking back today, looking back at Easter. We've been remembering over the last few weeks, Jesus' death and resurrection for us. We celebrated wonderfully over Easter itself. And there's a true sense that I wanna live there every day. I wanna live every day remembering his death and resurrection. But the question here for me is what difference does that make today? What difference does it make to the challenges, the joys that you're facing, that I'm facing today? And I want to take us to a very well-known passage. It's a lovely, uh, simple passage where it's a story of what happened after the first resurrection. And it's about Peter, one of my heroes, who got so much right and so much wrong. I think I identify most with the so much wrong bit. But Peter was one of the first disciples. He was with Jesus through the miracles, through the storms on the sea, the feeding of the thousands. He was there at the um, arrest, at the crucifixion. And then he was one of the first to see the resurrection. He then met Jesus, the risen Christ. He met him and Christ breathed on him his Holy Spirit. And Peter was the one that Jesus' hope was in who would lead the new church into the future. So Peter's seen it all, the death, the resurrection, everything. So what next? What I love about Peter is he's so real and he makes some big mistakes. So the disciples were waiting. After Jesus had appeared to them, they were then waiting. And Simon Peter says something very strange. He says, I'm going fishing. I'm going back to what I used to do. Do you remember how he left his nets? He left the boats and he followed Jesus. He left everything. And now after the death and the resurrection and the Holy Spirit being breathed on him, I'm going fishing. He's going back to what he knew. Why? I don't know, but I can only imagine because I often go back to where I feel safe, back to where I think I knew what I was doing once. Back to the old, it's comfortable, it's safe, it's easier somehow than trying to face the challenges of the future. I'm going fishing, Simon the leader. And then the sad thing is that everybody else said, we'll go with you. So Jesus led, <laughs> Peter led the disciples back to the old. They'd been fishermen, they knew what they were doing. That was what happened before they met Jesus, before all of his last three years had gone on. We'll go back to what we know. So they went out, got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. And my simple question to you and me today is, are we living as though Easter hasn't happened? As though the death and the resurrection of Jesus hasn't happened? Are we living in the old life, the way we used to do things before we came to faith? Are we living in the old, the comfortable and forgetting somehow that the cross has everything to do with today. Are we going back fishing, back to the old? And if we are, we'll probably find that we catch nothing. So again, my own personal experience of this is that when I find things are going pear-shaped and I have to redo things or go over things again and again and make lots of mistakes, it's usually because I've gone back to doing things on my own strength. I've forgotten the cross. I've forgotten the death and the resurrection of Jesus. I've forgotten that he's breathed his Holy Spirit on me. I've gone back to my old way of doing things, my old skills, my old self safe way. I've gone fishing. And my simple question to do you today is, have you gone fishing? Or are you living today in the reality of the cross, the death and the resurrection and the ascension of Jesus Christ for you? Are you living in the reality of the Holy Spirit's presence with you? And if we're honest, I think most of us go fishing a lot. Maybe today is a good day to say, I'm not going fishing today or any more if I can, Lord. I want to live in this reality. Simon Peter made that mistake and took the disciples with him. But Jesus beautifully meets him in the mistake. This is what I think is so wonderful about our Lord. He doesn't have a go. He's waiting on the beach. Maybe he knew it would happen. And he calls out to the disciples. They don't know who he is at first. But he says, cast your net to the right side of the boat and you'll find some fish. And like in his first encounter with them, they hadn't caught anything all night. And here they go again. 
they take this word, they put the nets out, and the nets are so full that they're beginning to break. Peter looks up, realizes it's Jesus, jumps into the water, leaves everything like he did the first time, and swims to Jesus. But Jesus meets them in that fishing, in the going back. I sometimes think he doesn't have that high expectation of us. He knows what we're like. He knows that we'll go back fishing again and again and again into our old strength, our old ways, our old habits. And the beauty is that even there he meets us and gives us another chance. The story goes on, they have breakfast. And then at the end, Jesus recommissions Peter. Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? And Peter says, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus says, feed my lambs. And of course, he says that three times to him. A, re a reinstatement from the three times that Peter betrayed him. My simple question today is, have you gone fishing again today? As though the death and the resurrection and the, and the ascension of Jesus haven't happened. As though it doesn't turn everything around in your life. Have you gone back fishing? And if, like me, you do that so many times, the beauty is we only have to say, Lord, I'm sorry. Please come and meet me. Meet me, reinstate me, and then use me again. And teach me, please, to walk in your new ways with the cross and the resurrection ever part of today. I'm just going to ask that you keep a moment's quietness just to pray. And just check your own heart, your own pulse rate, your spiritual pulse rate. Have you gone back fishing, back to the old? If you have, just look at the picture, the beauty of what's gone on. Jesus' death, resurrection and ascension makes everything different today. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I'm sorry and we're sorry when we go back. As though the cross hasn't happened. Forgive us. Please meet us, even in our fishing times. Meet us. Help us to see you again, to come to repentance and reinstate us, to use us for your kingdom journey. Thank you, Jesus, that you're always, always willing to give us another chance. Amen. So I love that story because it's true and it's true in my life and everybody else's life I think so God bless you God keep you and let's try and reduce the fishing and learn to live in the reality of what God's done for us today